Graduation is a momentous occasion. It's the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and sacrifice, marking the transition between the four walls of the classroom and the complexities of the real world. For Megan, Angel, Laura, Cynthia, and Amber, it's the end of a long road of study at one of the nation's top value colleges. For one particular roadrunner, her dream of obtaining a four-year degree in America is finally a reality. A business major and also a student athlete, Laura is among the finest of Dalton State's international student population. Coming to study in the United States has been uncharted territory. It's been a big step, intimidating to say the least. I think it was the people. I mean, it's just something that is just coming from a big city and a European country. People are nice when you're friends with them, but people you don't know won't come up to you and say, hey, how are you doing? Can I help you or something? And here people are just so nice. They help you with everything out. And I was so scared. I was just 18 when I got here too. So I was still pretty young and already in my um, sophomore year. And it was just, and speaking a second language, being in a different country is tough. And just the people you're helping out. If it's the professors, the students helping out, my team has just been amazing. My coach has been one of the most important people I've met here, my mentor and just helping me out with everything. That's something that I've just never, never experienced in, any, in anywhere before. So I think that's what Dalton State really made it special to me, just the people I've met. Angel originally attended Dalton State in 1996 as a psychology major before leaving to start a family. She has now returned as an education major and about to embark on one of her greatest journeys yet, becoming a teacher. A few years ago I worked at a preschool, just something to have a small job and I really found a passion for working with children there. I was a lead teacher for six years and it got to the point where I just realized if I'm going to go the next step and do what I need to do then um, I'm gonna have to go back to college and to get a degree. I am part of a learning partnership at Blue Ridge Elementary. It's a pilot program that Dalton State um, has developed with Blue Ridge. And it's an internship and it's more like a first year teaching experience. We have got a lot of additional training that you don't necessarily get in your traditional education placement. So it's been a, it's been a rough, exciting, fun year, but I've really learned a lot being there. Being at Dalton State has really just been a phenomenal experience. Being a non-traditional student, when I first came into the program, I worried about finding my place at Dalton State, and it's actually never been an issue. Um, I've been accepted by all of my classmates. I feel like there's something to be said being a non-traditional student because I have experiences that sort of lend themselves to education. So I've been really happy here. My professors have been phenomenal. They have supported me and all of my cohort and really our cohort has been more like a family I guess you could say. They've really gotten behind each other. We've supported each other through the ups and downs of any program. Cynthia began her academic journey at Dalton State in 2012 as a nursing major. However, her path would take an unexpected turn just weeks prior to completing the program. Just two months before I was supposed to graduate, I was hit head on by a man who was high on meth. My dash came in on me, it trapped me in my car. I had severe injuries to my lower extremities, I nearly lost my right leg. I have permanent nerve damage in my left leg. I was taken to Hamilton and then life flighted to Erlanger and I spent two months in acute care at Erlanger and then at a nursing home. First I walked with a walker and then with a cane and then eventually unassisted. Due to her sustained injuries, she received alarming news from medical professionals that she would never be a floor nurse. I'll never be the same. but. I've accepted what happened to me. I, I don't sit and think about, you know, where I would have been had it not happened. I've been able to relate to patients, but it's one thing to say, you know, 
I understand how you feel, you know, I understand how that must feel, but it's another to say, I've been there. Today, both Cynthia and her dream stand tall as she prepares to complete her associate's degree as a registered nurse. I was where I was supposed to be that morning so that I could be where I am now. We came in several times to talk to Sylvia about where I was and you know where I'd hoped to be and even professors that I had in my core curriculum had been there for me. Dr. Leslie Harrelson I had three classes with her. I love her. Um, you know, I come in out on her office hours just to kind of vent and <laughs> They've just made me feel like I'm home. Megan, majoring in interdisciplinary studies with a focus in communication, believes that the value of obtaining a four-year degree is now more important than ever after becoming a mom. Prior to my daughter, it wasn't that important, and something about Seeing her, and I don't know, it, it just hit me that I need to make sure I do something better with my life because my mother, my grandmother, you know, it's a long history of women who have had children and, you know, worked 40, 50, 60 hours a week in carpet mill jobs to provide. And I knew that was something I was going to have to do to make it through college, but I didn't want that to be forever. And I wanted to set a standard for her that is much higher than you know, what a lot of teen moms think that they're capable of doing. Megan was originally a biology major upon arriving here in Roadrunner Nation. However, after taking a communication course from the college's world-class faculty, her passion would ignite for a different field of study. It was the opportunities presented by Dr. Barton. In the class, he said, you know, I have these classes, you write these 25-page papers, you go to conferences, and I was like, I want to do that. And he said, we've had a student that's been published. And I was like, I want to do that. And so then when I really realized the types of things I could write about, um, not knocking English, it's very literature based. It's very, what's been said is what's right. And with communication, you can dive into all of these different areas and how it relates to society. And you can really form new opinions and research on that. Dr. Chris Barton helped Megan publish her research paper in the Journal of Popular Television. It's an accomplishment that very few undergraduate students ever reach. I realized after not doing so well in biology and kind of struggling, I did, you know, full semester withdrawals, I had to take semesters off and things like that, and it just kept coming back that I wanted to make sure that I got the best out of my education. I wanted to take every opportunity that was given to me because it's not just enough to graduate anymore. You know, you have to show why you are better than the person next to you that has a 4.0 in the same field of study. It just showed me that I'm a lot more intelligent than I think I am and I can do a lot more than I thought that I could. Amber, a biology major, spent much of her time outside making friends like any child would. However, the type of friends she would make is particularly interesting. As a child, you couldn't keep me inside. I played in the pond and the creeks, and um, I lived with my grandmother, so I brought her like all sorts of crayfish and just different, just different things just to show her, and <laughs> she always thought they were gross, but... <laughs> She but I thought they were, <laughs> no, but I thought they were really neat. <laughs> she has found her passion beyond the walls of the classroom by immersing herself in undergraduate research. Her hard work has recently landed her a summer internship in Idaho with the AmeriCorps Student Conservation Association. She is one of only 20 students accepted into the program nationwide. So I'll be going out to Idaho, uh, Chalice, Idaho, and um, we'll be doing different things with the forestry department and with the Department of Natural Resources. 
We'll be going and doing sage grouse, sage grouse surveys and uh, fish surveys, trail maintenance, um, backpacking for up to 10 days. Yeah, just get to see all sorts of really cool things and um, mapping with the GIS system, just all sorts of things. It's been amazing. I have made so many friends here. All the professors that I've had, they know my name, they have been helpful, they're willing to help, and even when it's not office hours, I mean, they are willing at any point in time. I'm extremely excited, I'm nervous, but I know that it'll be good for me and Dalton State has prepared me for what is to come. A college degree from Dalton State is not a credential to be purchased. It's not a spectator sport or a one-size-fits-all commodity. It's an experience, a journey of becoming, a relational endeavor that sharpens students' minds hones their sense of identity, and shapes their perspective and worldview. We work to understand our students deeply, to serve their needs and interests, and to give them every opportunity to reach beyond their perceived limitations and discover something new about their capacity to achieve and succeed. When I originally came, it wasn't necessarily Roadrunner Nation. It was just Dalton Community College. I now honestly didn't think that I would have pride in my college. It is amazing how, how involved I've become in Dalton State. I'm proud of my basketball team. For their first title in school history. At my age, I'm doing the beep beep. <laughs> I just, I really enjoy being a part of Dalton State, and I see something that is going to be generational. I mean, my son is planning to come to Dalton State, so it's not, it's not something that's just, I'm passionate about for me, it's something that I'm passionate about for my future and for the future of my community.